Hi, uh, my name is Christopher Nedick. I'm a high school English teacher at Beckenfield High, and I am to try out for the part of Radford Beckon. Thank you for the opportunity. My daughter Becca, she's my life. I would lost my wife uh, not long after the battle over this land with the Prebovi Indians. And, and that brave tribe fought. They fought to the point of extinction. I'd come west looking for land to farm, but when your family's being attacked, you learn pretty quick how to protect them. I think I may have learned that trade a little too well. The whole ordeal with, with the Grimobi Indians literally sickened my wife. She, she died when Becca was only three. But like I said, it, and this is important, that Primbovi tribe fought to the last man to defend this area. But it wasn't until I was plowing a field up on the crest on the outskirts of town that I finally discovered why, that there was a reason they fought so hard. I learned that they had buried their ancestors there for generations. It seemed to go back hundreds of years. They had a word for that area. It had no English translation. Destiny. Destiny was as close as we could come. Little did any of us realize that the one of the tribe had survived the last battle. In fact, he had hidden my fields for years. When I discovered him, I tried to befriend him. I offered him shelter. I tried to give him food. But he wouldn't have any of it. He, he insisted on living off the wilderness. After all, he was the last proud warrior. It wasn't until he lay dying that I understood. He fought to his last breath to show me something hidden in my fields. It was something that was impossible to explain, something that made me question our whole understanding of nature. And someday, when I'm ready, I'll talk about it.